Hi guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies. Uh, today I just wanted to quickly touch on um, diesel to DCs and um, caravans. So uh, what I mean by that is the DC charger in the caravan to charge the batteries in the caravan and the connection to the vehicle. Um, a lot of vehicles nowadays, as we know, the later, later model vehicles have smart alternators, so therefore then they won't supply constant voltage to your Anderson plug at the back of the car, um, depending upon what the, the um, voltage is or the status of the cranking battery is. So therefore then you, you have to allow for voltage drop also from the front of the car to your van. In most cases, a camper trailer, a caravan, whatever, where the batteries generally are towards the middle or front to the middle can be anywhere from 7 to 10 metres away from the source of the power which is at the front of the car being the cranking battery. So to overcome this, what we recommend people to do is, obviously you can't use voltage sensing um, relays for smart alternating vehicles anyway. So for that instance, we actually recommend that the DC to DC in the vehicle, if it doesn't, can't be programmed to turn on at a low voltage, you set it up as if it was being charged via a smart alternator vehicle. So therefore then the little red wire or the, whichever wire it is that you have for the ignition trigger, you connect that to the power on the input side that's going into the DC to DC charger. That means then whenever there's power supplied to that, that circuit, the charger will be on. This creates an issue because that would only be on if you're plugged into your Anderson plug. Therefore then your Anderson plug, if it's got permanent power on the back of it, means then you're going to be pulling power from your cranking battery straight away. So our recommendations are basically go back how it was done old school years ago, is you put either a isolator that's controlled via an ignition or a 100 or 140 amp uh, relay um, onto your um, connector at the front which is also connected by ignition. So what that basically means is you have your cranking battery positive which would then go down to your Anderson plug at the back. So in between there at the front of the car you would have that going to the relay or the isolator which then gets turned on when you start the car and get the ignition wire to turn that on so that, that closes that circuit and allows power to go down the back. That means then you only have power at your Anderson plug at the back of your car whilst your engine is running and that's important because that means that you'll be getting power to your Anderson, your DC to DC in the van and it will only be pulling power from the car when the engine's running which is obviously then being substituted by your alternator and not just the cranking battery so that alleviates the issue then of isolating the batteries when you turn the ignition off so when you turn the ignition off it shuts that connection down which means then there's no power at the back of your car anymore. And the reason we do this is because when you set a DC to DC up for ignition trigger to work with a smart alternator, it lowers the, the voltage, the input voltage into that DC to DC so that it works at a lot lower voltage. And this alleviates then your, your voltage drop. What I have seen in brand new cars is 13.8 volts at the back of the car, or their Anderson plug, but when it gets to the DC to DC in the van and it puts that 30 amp load, 20 amp load, 40 amp load, whichever DC to DC you have on there, it can pull it down into the 11 volt mark, which means then if you were going through a voltage sensing relay, you would be shut off and finished by now anyway. But not only that, your, your DC to DC would just be turning on and off and on and off creating issues, getting hot, all those sorts of things. So by alleviating the fact that you're not utilising the voltage sensing to turn it on and you've just got that ignition sense and your charger now will work basically from 10 volts upwards, which most of them do if they have the um, smart alternator wire connected. Um, we see it all the time, they work... Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. I'll cut that up. No worries. Um, they work perfectly well then because they can actually start pulling that 30 amps or whatever from say you know um, 10 volts upwards and they, they, they work and don't shut down. So my number one rule is if you're going to have DC to DC in your van you want to have it so that it's permanently on um, when it has receives power into the Anderson plug at the trailer and for that reason therefore then you have to isolate it at the front either via a isolator which is just a um, uh, generally uh, just a, a straight isolator with like the old school style isolators which are just triggered on and off via power which is a ignition trigger or just a relay 
um, that you can put the, the two battery uh, positives together and once again contribute by a uh, ignition relay. And uh, that way then we'll solve all your problems and we'll keep your chargers working happily whilst you're driving and uh, won't flatten your cranking battery at all because as soon as you turn the ignition off, there's no power there. So hopefully that clears that up um, and uh, yeah, keeps you on the road for a lot longer. So until next time, bye for now.